One of the largest construction projects in the state is set to start soon in Williamson County. The widening of Route 13 to six lanes will put hundreds of people to work, but not everyone is happy about the plan. News 3's Kristen Craig joins us now with that story, and what's the problem here? Well, Eden, six miles of the highway will be widened between Marion and Carterville. That stretch will become more like an interstate with on and off ramps and frontage roads. Several companies say that will hurt them by cutting off access to their business, and one man is speaking out against the plan. Drive along Route 13 through Craneville, and it's hard to miss Peter Hamoya's outrage about the Route 13 expansion. This is the way I feel about it. I mean, they lied to me. Signs spell out this developer's anger after he says he invested everything only to be forced into failure. Nobody's interested in buying it. Hamoa says he spent $2 million developing this 60-acre lot. He says there were plans for a hotel, bank, and restaurant. Now, all gone because IDOT didn't keep its end of the deal. I thought it was a worthwhile investment, and now, since they're eliminating the intersection, Nobody wants to purchase at all. The plans online show the problem. You see, Hamoya says he was promised a lighted intersection right here at the entrance of his property. Instead, the median will actually be blocked off, which means for these three lanes of westward traveling traffic who are passing his businesses will have to drive all the way to Carterville and turn around if they want to come back. Something Hamoya admits is very unrealistic. Put me out of business, that's all. Big time. Officials with IDOT say the limited access is meant to prevent crashes. You eliminate uh, that big accident potential by not allowing people to try to move across what will be three lanes of traffic and then enter into three lanes of traffic. IDOT doesn't believe the plan will turn this property into a waste. I think when this project's complete that this property will have just as good access as it has now and I think it'll be a lot safer access. And I understand leaders in Craneville are not happy about this idea either, right? Eden, that's right. The mayor told me that under the current plan, the main street to their town will be difficult to access. He's very upset, and he said he's actually concerned about the future expansion and growth of the city of Craneville. All right, and how final are the plans? Could these change? Well, officials at IDOT tell me that they reserve the right to make minor adjustments, but for the most part, these are the final plans. Okay, thank you, Kristen.